Any Caucasian Americans over here? Can you put your hands up, please? Make some noise. Any Goans? Woo! Any Indians? You guys are all around. <laughs> so I come from a state in India called Goa. It, uh, it's a land of beautiful beaches, uh, fun-loving people. They call us Susagar. We love partying, we like uh, having fun. So whenever anybody comes from India, we like to teach them about the American culture. So one of my friends, uh, I call him Suhao, he comes to America, thin guy, right? And you know when they come from uh, India, it's like, you know, they are pretty fit. So this guy comes to America and the first thing we do is we throw a party and then we get him drunk. And once he's drunk, we start explaining to him all the rules and try to knock six sense to him. So this guy is observing, he's high, right? And he's observing and we ask him, Zwam, did you understand? And he's nodding. It's an Indian yes, right? So he keeps nodding, yes. So finally, on um, Monday morning, he's driving to work. He's uh, trying to get on the highway and he sees the yield sign. So then he remembers, right? That, oh, Obey the signs, you know, it's yield means you have to let the other traffic uh, pass by. So it's rush hour and this guy sees the yield sign and he slams on his brake. Cars zooming left, right, left, right and people are honking, it's like chaotic, right? So finally somehow he manages to get on the highway and then suddenly out of nowhere, this cop car zooms right in front of him and starts speeding. So he remembers, you know, we had told him that, you know, if you ever encounter a police officer, just obey, just listen, and everything will be fine. So he thinks now if the police officer wants him to follow him. So he starts chasing the police officer. Now the police officer changes the lane, and then this guy changes the lane. And suddenly the police officer notices through his rear view mirror, right? Like, is this guy following me? Normally it is like the police officer chases the bad guys. This is just the reverse kind of So just to be sure, kind of, the officer changes his lane and then this guy changes his lane. So now the police officer is in panic mode, right? So he calls for backup and he, he takes the next exit. So my friend Zuao, he's thinking he's obeying the law, kind of, right? So he changes the police officer, he takes the exit. Finally, he goes to the, the police officer gets into a Walmart complex. And suddenly, out of nowhere, eight, ten cop cars, right, they surround this guy. You sir, put your hands up in the air and step out of the car. This guy, like, he's in panic mode. He calls, he puts, uh, takes out his phone and he calls me, Savio, what do I do? I'm like, damn, put the phone down and put your hands up. <laughs> so, any uh, passive, aggressive drivers over here? Woo, thank you. So, I'll be honest, right, I am, uh, especially when I'm going to work, so, if I especially see somebody on the phone, texting, and if I'm going to miss my signal, I honk. So, I'm driving to work and this guy is like texting and I see the signal is almost going to get red. So, I honk. Now, this guy is mad, right? He turns. This guy is like, stout. When he turns, like, you know, the whole car turns. So, now I'm in panic mode, right? I'm like, sir. Not me. It was a car behind me. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You have been a wonderful audience.